Welcome Flip Clock fans. On this recent eBay auction, I believe history was made right before our eyes. At this time in the auction, this French made Plato clock was already over $2,000. We're going to see where this auction ended up. I believe that this was a record setting sale of a Plato clock. But first I have to thank the eBay seller Rarity NY who has graciously allowed me to use images from this auction for this video. This seller has not only sold more Plato clocks on eBay than anyone else, but has produced some of the most stunning photos of the Plato clocks in existence, in my opinion. Many of the images you see here were used with permission in my video about the Plato clocks, where I go into much greater detail than I will here. You should keep an eye out for this eBay seller. The quality of the merchandise is remarkable. Oh, and by the way, I communicated with this seller before making this video, and my suspicions were confirmed. This auction represents the highest selling price for any Plato clock sold by this seller. While Plato clocks are highly prized by many collectors, myself included, they are not the first flip clocks, as I and many others previously thought. Incredibly, the origins of the first flip clock were lost to history for most until 2021 when the details were uncovered. I have a video out about my discovery of this clock. The world's first flip clock must be credited to Austrian inventor and engineer Josef Paul Weber. Paul Weber was issued German patent number 54093 on October 27, 1890, for his clock with numbers changing by falling double-sided numbered tablets. The Paul Weber flip clock was produced in Lenskirk, Germany by the world-renowned Lenskirk Clock Factory between 1893 and 1894. While not the first flip clock, the Plato clock appeared on the scene not much later than the Paul Weber clock and made much more of an impact for a time. The inventor of the Plato clock, Eugene L. Fitch of New York City, received patent number 733180 on July 7, 1903, for the clock that would become the basis of all subsequent models and styles of what we call Plato clocks. The American Ever Ready Plato clock made its appearance on the world stage at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair as part of an exhibit by the American Electrical Novelty and Manufacturing Company, which would later become the Ever Ready Battery Company. The owner of the Ever Ready Battery Company, Conrad Hubert, produced the clocks which were manufactured by the Ansonia Clock Company. The name of the clock, Plato, is a play on words relating to the time displaying plates. Plato. Yet from the beginning, the public mistakenly tried to connect the clock to the philosopher Plato. While not to diminish the importance of the American Plato clocks, it is known that German, British, and French clockmakers produced these types of clocks and that these European clocks were of substantially better quality. I've referred to these clocks repeatedly as Plato clocks. However, it should be remembered that calling all such clocks Plato clocks is a construct of modern auctions and online discussions. As far as I can tell, only the American-made clocks were named Plato clocks. And this brings us back to the clock in this auction. You'll see on the bottom that this clock bears the words Pendule, Fitch Clock, and Ever Ready. While the French word pendule can mean pendulum, in France it was not uncommon to use the word to simply refer to a clock in general. And from our discussions, you now know why Ever Ready appears on the clock. Perhaps Conrad Hubert of the Ever Ready Battery Company licensed the clock to French makers. This is unknown but you'll also see the name that was often used in European advertising for the clock, Fitch Clock. And of course, this refers to the American Eugene L. Fitch, credited in this way with its invention. On the inner workings of this clock, you'll find the markings Fabrique de Horologerie Bavo Ferris, St. Nicholas de Alamont. In English, the first part would translate to Bavo Brothers Clock Factory. St. Nicholas de Alamont is a town in the Normandy region of France that was home to numerous famous clockmakers, especially in the 18th and 19th centuries. This clock is a work of art. It's a beautiful example of a French Plato clock, and the winner of this auction has a real treasure on their hands. And here we are, back at the auction. Yes, I sat and watched the wide wonder for the last few minutes of this auction. I was rooting for the seller, but also just curious to see how high this clock went. As is typical, it took off right at the end. And there it is, $3,650, what I believe is a record for any Plato type clock on eBay. It's a beauty. 
Thanks for taking the time.